so today we're doing fitness. I'm going to talk about how fitness has been this perfect standpoint between me and meditation basically in this past couple of months. And so I am finally fully back into fitness full time. I am pushing, um, which goes hand in hand with yesterday's video, uh, which was about push yourself. So I am pushing myself to obviously um, work out one day on, one day off, like originally, um, like I have been doing at the gym. So I finally got my momentum back and so it's going to be one on, one off every day from now on. So that does change my uh, my day a little bit more with uh, YouTube, my business and such. But I'm not worried because what I'm doing now is back to back videos for YouTube because my days are getting more crushed. So time is becoming more shortened. So society is beginning to come back in Calgary. We are on phase one that I know of, which means the gas prices have gone up from 50 cents a liter to 75 to now 90 cents a liter. So yeah, that means the gyms will be open in approximately three months, if not shorter, hopefully. So that's my goal. So right now I am renting out the basement to myself and upstairs to a renter. And so my gym is in a basement and I'm, that is my facility right now for my gains and gaining muscle and focus. Like I said, meditation is something that's key. It's always been key in my life. I've been meditating for quite a while now, but meditation now is not as useful as it used to be in the sense that I've outgrown it. And so uh, fitness is now my new meditation to come full circle with that. And so for those who do love fitness and fitness buffs, I have a few videos on my channel for fitness. Some of them are pretty old. They date back to two, two to three years back or longer. <laughs> you can tell, uh, but I'm not changing it because you know, it's good information and it's changed my life in the gym and still to, to, still to today in my waking, waking hours, man. So, um, yeah, fitness is an important aspect to myself because it keeps me young looking, keeps me healthy, keeps me motivated, keeps me focused. And that works hand in hand with my day-to-day -day life with literally just doing the dishes as I seem to talk a lot about on this channel, doing the dishes, chores, you know, basic life grocery shopping, which goes into, again, my business at the end of the day, which is my funds. And so fitness is probably one of the biggest topics, if not secondary to uh, uh, enlightenment or expansion is my word that I like to use. So fitness is pretty much hand in hand with enlightenment or expansion with myself. And so fitness is always my main target wherever I go, whatever decision I make. Just a quick update on the retreats that I was going to attend, which was in Calgary, and hopefully the one with Cal uh, my best friend, um, Andrew, for Rhythmia. That has been put on hold because tomorrow's video is going to be about paying off debt. So uh, fitness, I just wanted to update you guys on where I'm at and where I'm standing with my focus and my physique and if you've been watching my earlier videos you'll know that I have gotten back previous into my diet which is ginger and raw garlic I take it um, I chop it up which I've got to do today I've got my haircut to do anyway so I have been taking ashwagandha powder greens all that kind of stuff which is expensive, but nutrition is such 
an important factor when it comes to alleviating stress in my life and keeping the focus because my body feel when I stopped taking during COVID-19 when I was feeling down and we've all felt it I started to notice that I was drifting off and then once I came back I was like yeah boom let's get back to this and so my diet is back into shape and it's it's good man potatoes rice organics and so that is my video for today. I just want to update you guys on where I was standing and where I'm at and where I'm going. Always, as a alleviator, I want to remind you guys that the three set rule is to meditate in the morning if you have to. If not, then go for it. Go for it. visualizing. Take as far as you can go. That's step one. As far as far as you can go. Push it. If you can only, I could only get to about five minutes today. This five minutes this morning. That's as far as I could go. I couldn't put, I was pushing it, pushing it, listening to music. I was like, fah. So take it as far as you can go. Sometimes you can only take it a few, a few minutes. Sometimes it's a few moments, you know, for me, whatever it is. Step two, always monitor your emotions. Please do it, do it for yourself, not for me, not for this video. And so that's an important aspect because I'm just reminding myself and the viewers that your emotions are the only aspect to yourself that's guiding you throughout your day and every decision you make is based off of your fundamental process which is yes emotions why because emotions are your abundance and so you're going to get everything you want with effortless and ease because whatever word you want to use higher self you name it is guiding you so that's step number two emotions and finally step number three repeat step number one and repeat step number two <laughs> please throughout your day wherever you're going whether whether you are traveling grocery shopping always be always have those two fundamental rules if you can in your in your life because it expands yourself which expands me and expands everyone everyone else around you when you focus and follow your highest excitement thank you so much for listening guys and i'm hoping you're having a great week i believe today is saturday or sunday i don't even know i should probably get on that and uh yeah, thanks so much guys.